Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So recently we've been taking a look at a lot of the cut content from the Cops and Crooks DLC that Rockstar Games were meant to release over four years ago. If you guys aren't aware, they ended up scrapping the Cops and Crooks DLC. However, they have released a lot of the content from that DLC in the most recent DLCs, which have included different free mode events, different weapons, and even more recently, we started to receive the police vehicles. I have seen quite a few of you guys getting confused thinking that the police vehicles we got were new vehicles when in actual fact rockstar games created these vehicles back in 2020 so the gauntlet interceptor the stania la cruiser the riot van a bunch of different free mode events like coming across a crime scene or going ahead and unlocking the police rifle these were all meant to be part of the cops and crooks dlc so by taking a look at all of the cut content we can get a good idea of some of the content rockstar games plan to release with the future dlcs now of course we are in 2024 and take two who is the parent company of rockstar games have pretty much confirmed we should expect to see the release of gta 6 in the fall of 2025 therefore we've only got one more year pretty much left of dlcs in gta 5 online so it is very very likely we will be seeing more of the cut content from the cops and crooks dlc so even though the odds of it being a pure cops and crooks dlc DLC is very slim even though I would wish Rockstar Games would release a Cops and Crooks DLC it is more than likely they are just going to be including a bunch of the files that were found in that DLC now there were over 800 game files that were found with the Cops and Crooks DLC which was a massive amount of content that was meant to be included like I previously said we had free mode events weapons a bunch of vehicles we plus there was a bunch of other stuff like police collectibles police actions being able to arrest players so if you guys do want more information on all of this cut content i'll leave a link to a playlist down low in the comment section where you guys can check out all of the videos i've made on this cut content as like i said if i made one video talking about all 800 files the video would probably be over an hour long However, whilst I've spoken about the weapons, vehicles, and different free mode events and missions, a lot of you guys like myself have been thinking, what about the outfits that were meant to be included with the Cops and Crooks DLC? As I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware, in recent years, Rockstar Games have been blacklisting the police outfits, therefore making it impossible for players to even glitch the police outfits onto your characters to save as an outfit. Now this was most likely a sign that Rockstar Games were blacklisting these outfits because they planned to officially release them in the game for players to go ahead and unlock. Now interestingly in the game files there were a ton of different unique and rare police outfits that were going to be available with this DLC. Now why this is very interesting is because if you guys have been paying attention to the recent news from Rockstar Games they have for the first time officially confirmed they will be releasing the noose police outfit for everyone by completing the community heist challenge so it would also make sense for them to go ahead and release some of these unreleased police outfits which we are going to be taking a look at today so as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news and leaks all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so all of you og viewers on my channel you would have known that over the years in gta 5 online i've showed you guys a bunch of different glitches that would allow you to actually go ahead and unlock these police outfits for your character and if you guys have seen those videos you would have known that i always said i wish rockstar games would officially release some police outfits in the future and looking at these game files it looks like they plan to do so and in a big scale so of course there is two different main sections to the map in gta 5 online you've got los santos which of course is the main city area and then you've got up north which is classified as blaine county and it looks like rockstar games included different variations of these police outfits bits for different areas of the map so as you guys can see by the coding in the game it does read outfit underscore cnc underscore cop underscore lspd officer so of course the lspd outfits are the most recognizable police outfits in the game and it looks like rockstar games was going to have 
three different variations of the LSPD outfit that we could go ahead and unlock for our character. Now, like I mentioned, I've already showed you guys how you could glitch out one of these LSPD outfits that you can see on screen. So this would have been the short sleeved standard LSPD outfit that you also see a lot of the LSPD wearing around the map, as you guys can see on screen. If you make your way to any of the police stations in Los Santos, you will see police officers hanging outside wearing the same outfit outfit that I showed you guys how to glitch which is the normal LSPD outfit now there is different components to this outfit which do include a police belt the shirt and the badge the pants and the boots and it also comes with a police officer hat that you guys can see on screen so that would have been one variation of the LSPD outfit that we would have been able to unlock for our character it does say there was three different versions so it's more than likely the second version could have been the long sleeved version of the outfit which you guys can see on screen and you can also see a lot of police officers wearing this outfit around the map now i'm not too sure what the third version would have been so maybe the third outfit would have been potentially a female outfit however these weren't the only outfits that were meant to be included with the cops and crooks dlc as you guys can see on screen the coding also reads outfit cnc cop park ranger now as i'm sure you guys are also aware rockstar games released the park ranger vehicle however we don't have a park ranger outfit yet rockstar games actually have one in the game files so as you guys can see on screen here is one variation of a park ranger outfit that can be found in the game so it kind of looks like what a park ranger outfit would look like it has a cap with a beige shirt some green joggers also includes a belt with a park ranger badge and there is also a another version which you guys can see on screen which is a male version wearing a ranger cap also looking through some binoculars which would make sense being a park ranger here's another image of a park ranger wearing a similar outfit however a different hat on his head so like i said we do have three different versions of the park ranger outfit also that was included with the cut content and this screenshot of the short sleeve outfit gives us a bit of a better idea of what it would have looked like so you've got a badge and it does also have another logo over the pocket reading park ranger here on screen we can see the female outfit once again a bit more clearly so it does also include what looks like a walkie talkie on the shoulder which would be a unique clothing item that i've not seen on any other outfit and i'll throw some screenshots on screen now so you guys can get a closer look at this outfit and some items it would have included so like i said there would have been three different versions of the park ranger outfit also so as you guys can see on screen there really is some unique and sick looking police outfits that are in the game that would have been included with the cops and crooks dlc and hopefully fingers crossed even if we don't receive a cops and crooks dlc that rockstar games will throw a bit of this content in with the upcoming update so for players that do like to drive around in their police cars they can also go ahead and wear a police outfit without doing any glitches and like i said i'll leave a link to the full playlist down below in the comment section where you guys can check out more of the cut content from the cops and crooks dlc which is very very interesting indeed and as always i will be sure to keep you guys up to date if we do hear any more news or leaks so as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in my next video